good, good 11 a.m. in the morning. Um, we are on a sleeper bus, but in the daytime. We're going to Dong Hoi, which is a central town. It's eight hours all the way there. It costs 600, um, 600 dong, which is about 20 quid. Really quality coach, proper, proper chuffed of it. Eight hours on that, and I'll show you in a bit, but it's spot on. We're getting central now, so it's wet season now. So come from the north into the central, wet season. Dong Hoi first, our transfer going to Phong Na Ki Ban National Park. Um, this is where all the massive caves are. You've got the Son Dune Cave, uh, which was rediscovered in 2009 by a British expedition. Uh, a local farmer showed them where it is, biggest cave in the world. Uh, can't go in there because it's five grand to get in. Uh, however, there are loads of other caves, um, loads of nature, 300 different species of vertebrates, 23 endangered species. Um, it's the central part as well, so it's that line between the north and the south. Um, You've got the DMZ, you've got the 17th parallel. We're going to see a lot more um, Vietnam War stuff now. Um, 1965, this place got proper, heavily, heavily bombed. Um, B 52 bombers, big time stuff. Um, them Hueys, that Apocalypse Now style stuff. Um, we, and also ancient history as well. You've got the Champa in the south, Dive in the north. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, anyone, by the way, this is obviously just um, a little bit of research. Um, it's going to be wet, uh, which means there is going to be nature. I'm hoping to see some snakes, spiders, uh, there's types of geckos, there's big uh, monkeys, lemurs. Mm, what else have we got for you? That's about it. I'm going to enjoy this meal here, which cost me one pound. It was like a buffet selection thing. It's pretty good. Um, and I'll show you the coach shortly. Cool. Um, yeah, here's our bus. I'll show you the inside in a bit. We've got VIP, uh, VIP one. I don't know if I said a 600 dong, which is 20 quid each. And yeah, this is the shit, to be honest. It's decent. Uh, we've got to go dong hoi first. And then after that, fonna to get to the national park. I hope it all goes well, because it's wet season, it's low season for them. Best time for nature, not the best time to be in the, in the jungle. Uh, might be some flooding, caves flooding, that kind of stuff. There's loads of history there. Um, look, looking forward after the national parks, like I say, we've got the Vietnam DMZ, we've got some hills, it's not Hamburger Hill, but some, something similar, Q Gao Bien, someone, someone hit me up on that. Just another side note as well, is a lot of you commenting from Vietnam. Um, if you drop a message, if we're passing your way, we're going all the way to Ho Chi Minh, um, hit us up, uh, want to see how you're living, your lifestyle. Um, if it's something interesting, everything's interesting to us. Um, whether you want to go for a beer or <clears throat> you've got something going on, you live in rural uh, and we can come pay you a visit, that would be cool. Make a nice video. I love the videos where I can uh, interact with uh, your local people. Another side note as well, everyone has been proper friendly. I've had no issues uh, with not even funny looks nothing everyone has really gone out of their way to make sure we're welcome here um so many times we've got confused with the money and overpaid we walked off and they chased us down the road with the with the change um the guy in the rural mountains wouldn't take money for cigarettes and yeah just everyone's really genuine um everyone's works hard like seriously hard they're always on the go what like yeah just the great people real great people like i'm putting it up there with um philippines and vietnam definitely friendliest places in asia that's not to say that other places aren't friendly but it really feels like they go out of their way here to um to accommodate us and it's not touristy there's it's the whole tourist market is domestic um there is a, a, obviously a, a good few amount of tourists here but it's not catered it's not catered to them it's um it's catered to the domestic market they've got such a strong culture that they don't need to they don't need to learn english they don't need to they don't need to like um watch american films and that kind of stuff they've they've really got their own thing going on it's quite quite impressive and that just goes to show about the, the history they've got you know their, their independence from the French Vietnam War the Indochina War all the way back like there's a, it's quite a tumultuous history in the past with um, 
lots of land, all the borders changing all the time. Uh, you've got the Champa in the south, uh, the Hmong in the north, but then it goes way back, um, way back to history. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there and I'll show you the bus shortly. Here we are, living the dream. You probably get a better view of uh, Josh's bunk there. Comfortable, isn't it? Got reclining seats, YouTube. The guys, um, this is the route that we're taking apparently. It's on pause now, but same thing. Nice view out the window. Yeah, nice lighting, air vents, charges. All good. Good afternoon. It's like four o'clock now. Is it four o'clock? Five o'clock, and we finally got here. Um, Josh booked a hotel about an hour ago, found like four or five star hotel for um, 20 pound each, so bargain. Um, yeah, it's the, it's the shit. Obviously it's off season here now, so um, everything's gonna be cheap as hell. There's no no other tourists here. This is some random town, which is using it as a jump off, but so but yeah, good for seafood apparently, so I'm definitely eating loads of seafood. And so I'm gonna give you a quick tour of our, was it four, no, it was 27 pound total, weren't it? So 27 pound total, 12, 13 pound a night. And uh, yeah, we had a like, bellboy bring our stuff up and all that. And uh, yeah, Josh with his like, psychiatrist chair there. <laughs> and then we've got um, Sea View and City View. And like, uh, obviously it ain't sunny and it ain't gonna be swimming, but we're here, we're here just to get to somewhere else. But this is a pretty cool place. And um, yeah, seafood is massive here apparently. Uh, it's a port town. Oh, we come across that bridge, didn't we? Yeah, wicked. Um, wow, well, so yeah, the bathroom has got one of the mirrors, so Josh can watch me take a shit in the morning. Not a mirror, a see through. Is this what's this? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I know you walked into that. I was gonna say it's a bit weird, but yeah, it's got a uh... hello, Josh. I hope he's sitting here taking a shit, and uh, Josh can see you like that. Come on in, <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, not a very exciting uh, video so far, it's just us traveling really. I might get some seafood on camera later. I'm hoping we can find some. I know there's some really expensive Chinese and Japanese Korean restaurants that do seafood, but I don't want that seafood. I want um, what the workers are having. We saw loads of prawn farms. I mean, in fact, over there, right there, you can see a huge prawn net that they um, dip in the water and uh, get prawns with and that. So I'm hoping there's gonna be some some real good seafood. I mean, the beach does look good, but the, the, it's wet season, it's proper wet season now, so yeah. This place has got a swimming pool, gym, spa, the works basically. But yeah, okay, uh, leave it there. Thank you for watching. Here we are down at Clacton Beach, uh, I mean Don Hoy Beach. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just, it's nearly night time now. We thought we'd have a little, um, that's our hotel there, the big one. Um, yeah, like I say, it's uh, wet season now, the w and this is a river as well, so I wouldn't really want to swim, you're not allowed to swim this bit anyway, there's loads of signs up. But yeah, we're going to go find some food, and um, our hotel's got quite a lot of amenities, we might hit up the karaoke bar later, see what happens, get the staff drunk or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's actually quite a cool little uh, city so far, but I'm going to say that because we've got a really cheap hotel, it's a good... Uh, good start to the uh, thingy. I'm gonna go see what the fishermen are catching and then uh, then we'll go find some street food. You know, we've come to a, um, I don't want to shout too loud because people in it, we've come to a uh, seafood restaurant, like a snail restaurant. And um, it'll come out one dish at a time basically because uh, that's how it goes. But yeah, first one, we've got uh, razor clams and like chili, garlic and um, chili garlic and ginger. Yeah, I mean, you get these at home, so that's what it kind of looks like. This one looks almost like a bit of a schlong. Thank you. Mm. Obviously, 10 out of 10. That is so good. That is tasty. Josh, you gonna try one on the camera? No. Josh's got some bread, he'd be good with bread. The sauce is banging, but I'm gonna keep coming back because um, we've got four dishes to try. Okay, next one's come out, and they, had, they give us rolls of it as well, but um, the rolls are so good with munch dip. These are, I believe they're called hair snails, and they're cooked in coconut chili, uh, and I would say some lime leaf in there as well. It tastes like green curry, basically. But uh, yeah, let's tell you how these are. 
really good. That, that last one, oh, they, they, they've definitely got a stronger flavour. This one though was amazing. This is Josh's little selection here. I'm leaving for him until he braves up. <laughs> yeah, these, these are tasty. That was amazing, that one. Okay, here's the next one. We've got scallops with, it looks like dried, maybe some kind of dried fish. No, dried onion. Or, and then, I don't know what the sauce is on there. I don't have a clue. What is it? Oh, is it? Yeah, it is, yeah. All right, I'm gonna try this one. It's got like peanuts on it. Oh, and then we've got more come as well. And these are with pepper. There should be peppercorns on that. And then this uh, nice, nice sauce. Let's try this. I don't even know how to eat this. Josh, can you hold that for me for a second? So scatter, peanut. And then some kind of pink sauce on there. Let's just taste that by itself. I have no idea what the flavour is, but so far so good. That was good. It's really good. It's really. It's got quite a sweetness to it, to be honest. And then actually carry on now while we're here. I'll uh, try one of these. So these are big. These are massive. Scoop it out, oh, it's really hot. It should be in pepper, I believe. Rolled it in pepper. Oh my god, it's so hot. It's steamed, I would say. It's really hot. There go. And then it's a bit slimy. And this is the sauce, which I'm guessing is the uh, lime, chili, coriander sauce. Definitely a lot more slimier, like texture-wise. They're good, got strong flavour, lots of herbs, probably to cover up like the muddy taste. But yeah, cool. There we go. That's basically what we got left. Not much. We put a good dent in it. Um, no, oh yeah, I put a good dent in it. Josh, definitely try. You what? Did you try? You tried the scallop. You tried the um, raised clam. I don't recommend anyone to try this. This is a strong, intense. You know what the flavour is? The texture is a bit slimy, but this they put lots of herbs and everything, and it's like really, really strong herbs. But you get bam me with it. This bread is amazing. It makes it big time. This, but this this clam one, so good. Not the clam one, the uh, razor clam one. So. Josh has been patiently sitting here for what an hour probably waiting for these dishes to come out so we better go find some food for Josh we got we just some corn dogs didn't we which I want as well oh yeah cool um, so we just uh, left that restaurant and we're walking back to the hotel which is a good probably what three miles isn't it <clears throat> we can get a taxi if you want Josh it's not 10 <laughs> Um a wedding going on there tomorrow uh, th yeah that restaurant was sick that was really good we've every we've been in about six restaurants i reckon no probably no, 10 12. 12 you reckon yeah along along our three mile cruise before we found that one um that, uh, there was all they all look good they'll um some of them only done coffees and snacks and whatever and then all the menus were not in english which is quite a rare sight to see so i had to get google translate on them all even that last one was google translate um and Google Translate works with the picture of, of the menu, but um, only in normal writing. When you try, when, it, when it's trying to translate food dishes, uh, it struggles a little bit. It comes up with some weird, weird names. That um, first dish we had in there though was phew, so good, so good. The uh, clams and the chili and that. But yeah, we're going to um, walk back, have a shower, get sorted. Um, we're, there doesn't seem to be any bars around here and that, but there's a big karaoke bar at our hotel, which has probably got no nobody in it. It's really quiet. It's low season. Um, and then yeah, about it really. So yeah, not much of a video today. Um, tomorrow in morning, we got to speak to the hotel. We need to head to Phong Na, which is where the caves are and loads of different stuff going on there. We're probably not going to stay overnight in the jungle. Uh, depending we might just um tour the caves i don't know if that's possible um 
like just one by one kind of thing. I think they kind of drop you off there, half hour walk, and then, then you're in a cave. They got these seafood places as well. Let me get a quick video of this. All this stuff. Oh, oh wow, last floor. Uh, I forgot to mention as well that, that so all of that food plus six drinks plus four um, four rolls. Who wants to get on the camera? You want to get the camera? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, plus four ba uh, the bread rolls come to three hundred and fifty thousand dong, which is about eleven pound, I reckon. So yeah, crazy value for money. Uh, yeah, it's another one of those things. I'm going to turn off in a minute. It's a short video anyway, so it doesn't matter what I film today. Got this. Empty one. Not much going on there. I thought it was going to have loads of stuff there, but they've obviously sold out. Yeah, it's a really cool town. But I say, this is a built from scratch, basically, because it got bombed in uh, 65. Because this is where they um, based the... Um, the Viet, Viet Cong were based, basically. I don't want to say that out loud. I don't know if they're offended by that or not, but yeah, uh, this is where the Viet Cong were based, and um, yeah, the B-52 bombers wiped it out. So everything's um, fairly new, and yeah, it's well designed, big roads, nice lighting. Oh, does Josh wanna, do you wanna pop? No, I'm are you, you, fill, you fill up, yeah? These are like the corn dog things, sticks and sausages. Uh, okay, so the next video you see of me will either be another video or it'll be in a karaoke bar that I'm guessing is going to be really quiet, as in not many people in there, but they're going to have the music up 10 times volume. <sighs> yeah, cool. Long down the coach today, so yeah, not much, not much content or depth to it, but just to give you an idea. But yeah, this is definitely a domestic tourist area. Uh, like I say, all the menus are in... Vietnamese uh, yeah we're just walking up to <coughs> where the oh it's booming up there isn't it they do love a drink the Vietnamese do love a drink and they love a social gathering like if they go out for dinner there's normally at least 10 of them and they'll they'll have a hot pot which is like the boiling thing or the grill thing this is the um, entrance to the river there's loads of uh, trawling boats and fishing boats and all that kind of stuff <coughs> You can see it's really quiet around town. The good thing about the menus being in Vietnamese is there's no tourist menu. Sometimes they'll have two menus, one for tourists, one for domestic, and they'll pump the prices up on the tourist one. Um, so yeah, we're getting what the price should be and no, no exception. Pies, house, coffee, beer, chill. Yeah, there's a lot of modern, modern stuff. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Catch you in a bit. Here's our uh, hotel. Go through the revolving door because why not? Like I say, £13 each. Oh, it's hot in here. Din, 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 din. Is, the, um, is the bar open upstairs or is the, the bar? It's only open, yeah. Only through here? Yeah. Oh, this little bar here, yeah, no worries. Yeah, no bar. Just that little one, which is for you. Man. Okay, well, that's a little bit. A little bit sad, that's where we got breakfast tomorrow. That's all, that was a big breakfast. Yeah, this includes breakfast as well, so 13 pound each with breakfast. There you go. La, 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 la. That was what we thought we was gonna have. Karaoke bar, but fitness center, not today. Yeah. 